Good evening. Here we are at the end of our second full official day of General Council 43 in Oshawa, Ontario. It was a day that included all sorts of learning, all sorts of listening, and great opportunities to continue to connect, meet new friends, and reconnect with friends from across the church in new ways. So the day began with an opening worship and then moved into the morning listening session. Part of, a big part of the morning, was hearing from the first five moderator nominee candidates. Each shared their words, their wisdom, their passion for why they feel called to let their name stand as a potential next moderator of the United Church of Canada. After the speeches in the morning, there were a number of listening sessions on topics such as administration of sacraments, small and rural ministries, governance, as well as leadership. These listening sessions led into lunch, and there was all sorts of wonderful, fruitful conversations over lunch that I witnessed, as well as a book signing by David Giuliano, former moderator of the United Church. His new book, It's Good to Be Here, stories that we tell about cancer. He shared uh, some time to get to know folks. People came and were able to get a signed copy of his book. After lunch, we moved into a full business section, session that included the moderator and the general secretary's accountability reports. We also saw a video from Faith and the Common Good about a new project, Faithful Footsteps, that is being launched to help faith communities look at their carbon footprint and curb the carbon footprint that is created by faith community buildings. And then the business session continued with the next batch of moderator candidates. The next five shared their speeches and the court continued to discern and reflect about where we are being called into the future. The afternoon continued with a discussion session and then moved into a dinner that included all, all candidates, all commissioners, and guests. And this evening's dinner included special guests, Embracing the Spirit grant recipients, those who have been granted through our Embracing the Spirit program, who are living out ministry in new and vibrant, creative ways. The dinner included photos of these ministry projects and stories on each table to illustrate what God is already doing in this church. It was a full, it was a big day, and this evening we'll move into a bit more time of reflection, of receiving, as we look forward to a play being put on by Irides, the Living Apology Project. One of the culminating projects of Irides is a play that will be presented this evening. So a time to receive this wisdom, this reflection, and then get ready for another full day tomorrow. So thank you for joining me throughout the day. I look forward to journeying with you as the week continues to unfold. Have a great night.